Today we're going to look at how to add gallery to your Weebly website. So I've set up a page on my Weebly that is called gallery just for this tutorial. And I'm going to drag over on my build section. I'm going to drag over the word gallery into my empty space. Okay. And it says you can upload multiple images. So when I click up, click on it, I'm going to um, select multiple files that I can upload. Now, when you see them upload, you can see that it crops some of my images and it sets it up into a uh, three columns. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to customize this gallery for the images that you have. All right, so if you just click on the empty space here, here's where you're gonna see your options. You can add more images. And as you can see, I only have five visible, so it looks a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna to have to figure out how this is gonna look better. So I could minimize the columns to just two. So um, two across, I could go, oops, sorry. I go up to four. And then if I wanted to, I could go up to five. I think with the number that I have right now, five looks really good. And if I wanted to add more, I could have another row below it. Now the spacing can change as well. I can change how much room I have um, below and, and um, above. For captions, you have an option here. You could have, um, a light box or partial thumbnails or full thumbnails. I like to have all of the above and I'll show you that in a second when I put my captions in. And I also like to have a display over the hover so that when you hover over it, it will display what the name of the artwork is. The advanced setting is really important because what we're going to be looking at is how you want to do your image ratio. Right now it's set to rectangle. So it's actually cropping my images to a rectangle. You could crop it to a square shape or you could do none. And with this option, it will put your images um, at whatever aspect ratio that it has originally. As you can see, it made mine look very awkward because I got two landscape ones and I've got three um, vertical compositions. But let's go ahead and keep this for now. The border, you could do a nice thick border to accentuate the pictures. And you can also work on the spacing in between each of the pictures. And now what you can also do is you can ask, um, click on a picture and you can link it to another website if you want to, or to a video or anything you need. You can add alternate text, which um, will describe the, the image to somebody who's unable to see the image or if um, there's a technical glitch. You can delete and you can also caption. So let's show you what the caption looks like. I'm gonna change this. I want to also show you how to rearrange your pictures. All you have to do is click and drag. So as you can see, it will look much better if I alternate the set that I have. So I think this looks a lot better. When you're ready, you like what you got, go ahead and click publish. Take a look at it live. And that's what it looks like. So right now it's very small on this large page. Um, ideally, I'd have more rows below. As you can see, as I hover over, the images where I put captions, it will show the caption. And then if I want to see the picture larger, I click on it and the caption will now show up underneath and I will see a full picture. The cool thing about the gallery too, is you can move forward to see your images almost like a slideshow as well.